Republican Representative Jim Jordan has been called out for his role in basically ha- helping the cover up of the abuse of um, OSU uh, der- uh, Dr. Richard Strauss. So now a former wrestling captain of Ohio State University this week told the Ohio House Civil Justice Committee that Representative Jim Jordan asked him to help the cover up in the sex abuse scandal that occurred while Jordan was an OSU wrestling coach. So now the Cleveland Plain Dealer, this is where uh, this was reported at, says that the former OSU refer, uh, wrestler, Adam DeSabato, had told the committee this week that multiple coaches on the team, including Jordan, knew that former OSU doctor Richard Strauss was sexually abusing wrestlers and did absolutely nothing to stop it. DeSabato also told the committee that Jordan had asked him to contradict statements made by his own brother, Michael DeSabato, who in 2018 said that Jordan and other coaches had willfully ignored Strauss's sexual misconduct. So, so imagine, right? So your brother comes out and, and says, hey, look, th- this absolutely happened to me as well. Uh, and so, so you've got both kids in that family, right, that were abused by this guy. And then here's Jim Jordan calling you and saying, hey, man, uh, look, uh, I'm going to need you to uh, go against your own brother. I'm going to need you to testify against your own brother because that's kind of damaging to me. Well, that's ridiculous. Now, get a load of this. This, this is, again, testimony from DeSabato. He says, quote, Jim Jordan called me crying, groveling, begging me to go against my brother. That's the kind of cover-up that's going on there. Wow. I mean, look, that's that's devastating, right? Groveling, begging. Please, 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 please don't come out. Just, uh, you know, go, go uh, like, just testify against, uh, against your own brother. Completely ignore his experiences so that you can help me not get in trouble. And help me keep my job. That's basically what it came down to. Help us keep our job, right? Uh, so that we didn't get, in, you know, we keep our power. We don't get in trouble. Uh, you can make it go away. All you got to do is testify against your own brother, your own flesh and blood, who actually did go through a horrible experience. Don't care. All I care about is myself. That's Jim Jordan. Uh, now, look, these people, again, l- look at these sexual uh, abuse victims, right? You understand how difficult it is to come out, n- not only as a woman, right? So that's a, that's an, a huge problem, right? Very few women actually come out with sexual abuse, but uh, allegations because of the backlash. The amount of men that come out with sexual abuse allegations is even less. Why? Because it's because there is so much pushback as well, right? Now they did, they came out. And Jim Jordan and the other coaches had turned a blind eye to it. And it's super gross. Nope, don't know anything about it. Didn't hear about it. Didn't see anything. I didn't know what was going on. What what are you talking about? I had no idea. I had no idea. Well, look, this was incredibly widespread. In total, so far, 350 men had come out uh, forward with allegations against Strauss. And there is a significant portion of them point the finger at the coaches for ignoring it, absolutely ignoring it. And that, I mean, again, super, super gross. If, if you know, and he was there, by the way, uh, Jordan, from 1987 to 1995. While this abuse was taking place, you don't think that you would notice anything going on? Really? The sexual abuse, the sexual harassment? Come on. Come on, you're deluding yourself. Especially doing it for so long, these people tend to get a little bit brazen, right? And, and make it pretty easy for uh, you know, themselves to be caught in the act. I mean, to go and and hide this, right? And and to save his own ass and to participate in a cover-up, that really shows you exactly who Jim Jordan is. Now, you have Ian Fury here. This is a Jim Jordan spokesperson, right? So 
Now, he basically came out after this and said, a complete and total lie. Total lie. Congressman Jordan never heard or saw any abuse. And if he would have, he would have dealt with it. Really? Well, I don't believe it. I mean, he did. I guess in his own way, he did try to deal with it by allegedly protecting himself and assisting in a cover-up. Allegedly, of course. In response to Jordan's statement during a hearing, DeSabato fired back, called him a liar, and said, quote, he's throwing us under the bus, all of us. He's a coward. Mm. And that, of course, is, look, at if Jim Jordan actually did do all this stuff, I, 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 that's disastrous. Allowing this Strauss guy to sexually abuse these, these young men. It's totally, it, it, it's gross. Now, we have some uh, social media, by the way, that came out. Um, because Shady Force says, what a pathetic little man. Uh, referring to Jim Jordan. Chow Bell says, I have little faith that the Republican-led Ohio State House will do anything that might disparage Jim Jordan. Quote of note, no Republicans to ask these Sabata follow-up questions during that hearing. And so the reason that we got uh, a lot of these answers and these responses from DeSabato is because there were Democrats on that committee that were asking questions. No Republican was interested at all. And so guess what? Now you have Republican congressmen also covering up for Jim Jordan. I mean, again, it's gross. Uh, now, PC, uh, PCAD fail says uh, Jim Jordan is a very disgusting person who ignored children that asked for his help and left him to be abused. Now, if that's true, again, and there's, to me, no evidence to think that there's that it's not true. Since you have so many people out there who are telling essentially the same story over a long period of time. And, you know, since uh, Mr. Strauss had killed himself after uh, being found out, uh, and since Jordan is, of course, refusing subpoenas to testify, we reason to be sure that he failed in his job to protect those young men. His position and his authority were apparently just too much more important uh, for him. So, and, and that's at the very least. I, I Look, I hope these men get justice for what happened to them. And since Strauss is no longer there to punish, of course, hopefully... They can find some measure of justice from compensation and going after the people and punishing those who had assisted in the cover-up. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.